sometimes when I can't find anything to watch on YouTube, I just search up random videos I've seen in the past and just look in the comments. And the video that popped in my mind was this lady that cooked a Christmas turkey with her mouth, like she didn't use no knives. She used her mouth only because she said it was safer. So I searched it up on YouTube. She has two more videos. One of her cooking raw steak, tartar, tartar, tartare. I hope I said it right. And another one, romantic beetroot pancakes. And there, um, since I'm talking about it, I'm gonna react to it. I already seen the one with the turkey. That's disgusting, like nasty disgusting. So let's look at this one with the beetroot pancakes. Ooh, let's get into it. I'm Reva Godfrey. Welcome to a very romantic episode of Cooking With Your Mouth. Today, I'm going to be making my mouth-made beetroot pancakes. Oh, and it starts out with her drinking it. It's, it starts out with her drinking it and then spitting the heart shape. Spe Ew, that's what it looks like. First, we start with beetroots. There are no blenders in my kitchen, so I'll use all of my 33 teeth to pulse the beetroot into a fine paste. It's the fact that she's chewing it like it's an apple. Like, it looks like she's about to feed someone's grandma at a nursing home. Hold on, hold on, check this out. And then she proceeds to spit in the bowl. My lord. Look how she spits in the bowl. Look, 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 look. Like a bird. Ew, you nasty heifer. Now for the blending of flour, baking powder, and milk in my mouth. As simple as making a wallpaper paste. And it really rather moisturizes your mouth. I'm sorry, did she just switch it in her mouth like it's some Agent Blue? Bro, why is she gobbling raw baking powder and flour in the mouth like she's no face? This is a prime example as to why I don't trust everybody's cooking. Right here. Cause you got people that like to wishy washy your food. Wishy washy. Perfect. When people want to identify as animals, I think of her. She obviously thinks she's Tweety Bird in this mug. And then have the nerve to say perfect like she going to Ramsey. She then proceeds to get an egg and bite the shells off. You heard me. Bite the shells off like she's chipping paint and then blows the yolk out. Literally blows it out just. <laughs> she also gives a very important tip that you need to know. If your mouth grows tired, it is okay to use your hand as a whisk. Start to see these amazing colors coming together into a vibrant, romantic pink. Yep, using my bare hand as a whisk after I just spit in your food. It's almost like I'm wearing a pink glove. My love gloves, if you will. Now this next part is unnecessary. She could have just used her hand to put the butter in the pan. Mm. That is disgusting. <laughs> it's completely uncalled for. Take a large gulp of the mix. Line up your nose with the center of the frying pan and turn out a heart-shaped pancake. The fact that you decide to gulp it up like that, out the bowl too, and then line it up like you were in an art class, with your mouth? And then the fact that you think you look cute like that is beyond me. Be true to yourself. After looking at this, I don't even think the LGTBQ will want you to be yourself. She then proceeds to use honey as basically like the syrup topping of it. And she uses her hand, which is not a surprise. But watch how this little heifer cleans off her hand. Clean your hands. And now there's only one thing left to do. Try them. She goes on to eat the food and as you can imagine it's disgusting so this is where I end the video basically because I'm kind of done with this. I actually regret, ugh, I regret looking at this video. Like, subscribe, see y'all in the next one God willing. Peace. Ugh.